So this is... Fodra's core. It's so much bigger than... Ephineas. Look, they're all here. <sighs> gave me the name and I will treasure it forever you aid humans child of Fodra very well then the choice is made very well then the choice is made You humans, commit crimes against life itself. Now pay death. The planets work tirelessly to keep all of the life upon them in balance. It's their natural order of protection. What's she doing? I can hear her. It's like she's speaking. Inside my... Mind! Humans are not content with harmony. Instead, you treat the world like a child's toy and abuse it as you see fit. My head is splitting apart. We're gonna be okay. No, we're not! No! You have committed countless sins, and your lies are the coin by which sins are repaid. Lambda! Even I cannot hold her off for very long. Don't worry. Just leave the rest to us, okay? I'm sure that we can reach... an understanding with Fodra. We'll show her... the power of a dream. If we can trust Lambda... Then we can convince Fodra to trust us. Flare! 
Where are we? 
Welcome. We are inside Fodra's consciousness. Asbel? No, I am Lambda. Where's Asbel? At ease, Protos Hase. No need to rush to conclusions. He is still alive. Unfortunately, even with my ability, I was unable to absorb all of Fodra. However, it did not end in failure. I was able to capture her heart, the part of her overrun by hate. The core should now return to normal, and in time regain its composure. Considering the way things ended, it may have been Fodra's own will to protect what precious life remains here. For now, I think it's best if I try to speak with her. Who? With the heart of Fodra, her animosity continues to swirl within me. I hope to understand her hatred, to melt it away, and eventually change it into trust. Who knows how long it may take. This could last a century or two, but we have the luxury of time. That's so long. Does that mean that you will be alone all that time? I no longer consider myself alone in this world. Not with a friend who can live forever. Me? Watch over me as time goes by, Protos Hase. Please, watch over my progress. I will start dreaming, together with Fodra. In that dream, I hope that eventually we may form a kind of common understanding. Just as this man did for me. When we finally wake up, I think I would like to accompany her on a long journey and see the world. Now the time has come. I shall return Asbel to you. dream with Fodra. Yeah. That's what I heard. Asbel, are you okay? Yeah. I think so. <sighs> Why are you crying? From this point on, anymore. Everyone here understands just how you feel. Please believe me, your dream will live on. It will be treasured and passed down among their children. Come
come with me and we can watch over them. You and I together. Together? I think I'm out of time now. Will you take what's left of me with you? Please take my feelings and my hopes for this world. Let it know how I felt. Little Queen. <sighs> Pascal, are you sure you want to be dropped off here? Heck yeah! I want some time to take a look around the city. You're going to investigate and see how the new Valkanist system is working, is that correct? Uh-huh, you got it! It would be totally irresponsible not to follow up. I know we take it for granted, but Pascal is really amazing. Mm-hmm. That's right, and don't you forget it! Keep those compliments coming! Ahem! <clears throat> Aren't you forgetting something, little sister? Huh? Faria, you came to see me! See you? Yeah, right! I can smell you from a mile away! How many days has it been since your last bath? <laughs> I kind of forgot. No, I give up. <laughs> I refuse to look after you anymore. Anyone want to take a stray cat off my hands? Hey, let me go! Sorry, but I am more of a dog person, actually. Meow. <clears throat> Better scrub her down, just like you would a stray cat. Uh. Meow! Go easy on me, okay? Meow! <sighs> you don't need my help to take a bath. Jeez, little bro, you're scarier than Fourier. Stop calling me that. My name is Hubert. Can't you remember that? Hmm, okay. <laughs> hey, I know. I'll call you Hugh. Hugh? Uh... Okay, guys, I gotta run. See you later, Hugh! <sighs> this is goodbye for me, too. Thank you for everything, Captain Malik. You too, Pascal.
Goodbye, everyone. Until then. a lot of energy to tame a stray cat. So hang in there. <clears throat> See you around. Don't forget to swing by Lont. Mom would love to see you. Don't worry. Besides, I'm sure I'll be back for your wedding. What? <laughs> Don't tell me that. You still haven't talked to the poor girl. Like you're one to talk. At least I tried to talk to her. She just didn't really get what I said. Then it's no different. Those two are so much alike. In the strangest of ways. How are they alike? Don't worry. You'll understand someday. Sharia. Uh, yes? Your relief work has been invaluable to us. However, I wouldn't want you to lose sight of your own happiness. It would be most tragic if an angel of joy, such as yourself, decided to abandon her own contentment. And besides, your happiness is Sophie and Asbel's happiness as well. Thank you, Richard. I just wouldn't feel right if I moved on and left you behind. I don't know. You kind of sound like a sore loser. Tell her how you feel. If you don't want to end up being a total loser, Well, all right then. I think that's my cue to leave. Bye-bye, Hubert. Thank goodness you're safe, my lord. I apologize for making you worry. This latest excursion reminded me all the more of how precious peace is. I want to build a future for Windor, for Athenia, and for Fodra. There is more than enough prosperity to go around now. But I still have much to learn before I make that dream a reality. When peace is restored, I'd like to see more of the world. Asbel, Sophie, when that time comes, will you accompany me on that journey? Of course. Sure. You know it. Whenever you're ready, we can all meet once again at Lawn Hill. Okay.
All right, I must be off. Thank you. For everything. Well, I suppose... I should get back to my relief work. Oh. Yeah, right. Good luck, out there. Well, bye. Asbel, what about your promise? Sharia! I know I'm always really bad with words, but please, if it's okay with you, I want you to come live with me. I know you have a lot of things to do, so I won't ask you to come back immediately. I'll be the one waiting for you to come back home this time. Sophie and I will wait for as long as it takes, all right? Asbel. Sharia, last night, I had the strangest dream. I was playing with a child that looked a lot like both of you. And after a while, I finally figured out who he was. He was you and Asbel's great-great-grandson. Sophie, would you be happy if that dream came true? Will it come true? <laughs> well, it just might. I would be so happy if that really came true. That's good. foods, but only if you promise to eat everything up. Deal?
I promise. I'll watch over this world forever. Once there was a young boy who discovered a lost seed. He planted it in his yard, and he took care of it every day. Over time, the lost seed grew up and blossomed into a beautiful flower. What do you think happened to the seed after that? It turned into a bright shining star that watched over everyone. This was its way of thanking the boy who had been so very kind to it. Which star was it? Well, it's the one we all know best. Our favorite star of all. Thank you.